Hello, scholars. Here is our Thursday math lesson. Our goal today is I can compare using fewer than and the same as. So those are the words we're going to practice using. Let's first practice with something we used before. Take a look at this picture. How many people could I serve with my cupcakes if I were going to have a cupcake party? So go ahead and count. How many cupcakes are here? You're right, six. I can serve six people cupcakes. I know that because we practiced this before. We can draw lines from each person to a cupcake. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Here I can use the words the same as, the same as. I have the same number of cupcakes as kids at my party. The same as. Now I want you to think, what if another person joins them? So before I knew there were six, and now there's one more. What if another person joins them? Which set of cupcakes shows just enough or the same as this new group of kids? So take a look how many kids there are all together and think, is the triangle box enough? Is the circle box enough or is the square box enough? Choose your answer to move on. In today's lesson, we're going to practice using those words, the same as, but we're also going to start talking about fewer than or less than. Hi hey friends, today's lesson is for module three, lesson 19. Our learning goal for today says, I can compare using fewer than and the same as. Fewer than is another way to say that you have less of something. You don't have as much. And same as means that they're equal. There's the same amount. Now today we're gonna do a different, we're gonna use a different strategy for figuring out if things are fewer than or the same as. I know we've been using the good strategy of like drawing connecting lines. Today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. Let me show you. So I'm gonna call all of my dogs into my living room to help them. Come on, doggy, doggy, doggies. All right, look at all my dogs. Oh, I have so many in my house, do you agree? All right, I'm gonna give them all a treat. I wanna make sure I have enough. So let me pull the box out. There are all my dog bones. All right, now last time we've been comparing amounts, we have been drawing those connecting lines. Today we're gonna to do something different. We're gonna count the different items. Now this is a good strategy if you don't have too many and if they're organized. Like these are kind of organized in a nice straight line so I can see it very clearly. That's really helpful. When it's really scattered all over the page, it's a little bit more helpful to draw those connecting lines. What I'm going to do first is count how many I have of one, of one object, and then I'm going to count how many of the other side. So help me count the dogs, will you please? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six dogs. Friends, if I want to have the same number of bones as I have dogs, how many bones do I need? Yeah, six. Remember, same means equal. All right, let's count our bones. One, two, three, four, five. Uh-oh, do I have the same amount of bones as I do dogs? And nope, I only have five. I'm gonna go ahead and circle those. All right, so there is my five. Now I need to think. I have five, which is fewer than six. So I need to think how many do I need to add in order so all the dogs get a bone. Excellent. I need one more to make it so they have the same number of bones as there are dogs. All right, so that's our strategy. We're gonna count to see which one's fewer, 
and if or it's the same and if it's fewer we need to add in another object until we get them to match all right help me out on this next one for this one i have a whole bunch of flowers have you ever seen these flowers before these are called lilacs and they smell delicious unfortunately i live in florida but i used to live in illinois when I live in Illinois, oh, you can smell lilacs. So sweet and delicious. But did you know that lilacs don't grow in Florida? <laughs> it's very sad. Another one of my favorite flowers are hydrangeas. They're over here. And they're also beautiful. Okay, so I have lilacs and hydrangeas, and then I have a whole bunch of bee friends who are going to go pollinate those flowers. We want to make sure that there's enough flowers for each bee. All right, friends, what are we going to do? What's our strategy? So let's practice that math language. There are the same number of flowers as bees. The same number of flowers as bees. So earlier, she was helping us talk about counting how many by drawing lines. That was something we did before. Now we're going to talk about how we can count different groups when they're spread out. So let's start with the bees. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six bees. Now, let's count the flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six and six. Using our sentence, we can practice saying, there are the same number of flowers as bees. The same number. What about, oh, these are root vegetables. They're root vegetables because they grow underground. All right, so we have carrots and radishes. All right, let's see. We want to make sure that we have the same number of root vegetables. So let's count how many carrots we have. I think there's a lot up there. Go ahead and count for me. Let's use our strategy. We'll begin by counting the carrots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's count the radishes. One, two, three. All right, so is three the same as six? No, it's not. That's right. How about we describe it? We could say that three is blank six. Yeah, three is fewer than six. Good job. We could say we have fewer radishes than carrots, or we could say three is fewer than six. Let's practice that language. There are fewer radishes than carrots. Three is fewer than six. How many more radishes do we need to have the same amount? How many more, more radishes do we need to have the same amount? What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw these lines to help me out. I'm going to use a counting strategy I already know because I know that is the same. But now I'm going to look and see how many more I need. So I need one here. Another one here. And another one here. So now I know that I need three more radishes to have the same amount. Now let's go ahead and add radishes until we get to six. So I'm going to say three and then I'm going to draw pictures of radishes until I get to six. Ready? So three, four, five, six. Excellent. 
How many radishes did we need to add in order to make six? So it's the same amount. Perfect, three. You see how I use counting on to help me figure that out? Good strategy. All right, awesome, friends. What about this? Ooh, now frogs love to eat flies. So I went down to the pond. I saw all these frogs and a whole bunch of flies buzzing around. All right, so do we have the same amount as frogs as we do flies? Or is one fewer than the other? So let's count. I'm going to draw a box around this first set. And then I'm going to draw another box here, another rectangle around this next set. All right. So using this skill, what we've already did is we are going, now we're going to count how many all together. How many flies? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We know we have eight here on this side. Now let's count how many frogs we have on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So think for a second. We have eight flies and ten frogs. Are they the same or are there fewer? Think about how you could put that in a sentence. That's right. We don't have as many flies for each frog as we need. So we have fewer flies than frogs. So let's see, we have all of those flies. We have, let's count the frogs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's 10 frogs and how many flies? Yeah, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's go ahead and draw some flies and add on until we get to 10. So we can say eight, nine, 10. How many frogs, or sorry, how many flies did we have to draw in order to get enough flies for the frogs? Yeah, two. So now we have the same number of flies as we do frogs. Our learning goal has been, I can compare using fewer than and the same as. And that's exactly what we did today. We found out whether or not that was the same. And if one was fewer, we added on objects until they became the same. You did a fantastic job, friends. All right, so now let's take out our worksheet. Click on the thumbs up when you are ready to begin your worksheet. For this first problem, let's count how many birds there are. You're right, there are five. Count them again. One, two, three, four, five. Let's count how many of the pigeons there are, the seagulls. You're right, there are four. Now take a look, count or color the set that has fewer. So we're looking for the one that has fewer. Which group has fewer in the box? the chickens or the seagulls? You're right, it was the seagulls. Let's do the next one. Count how many fish are here in the teal box. There are five. Now count how many are in the other box. There are six. How many or which box shows the set that has fewer? Is it the teal box or the pink box that has fewer fish? You're right. It's the teal box. Just a couple more practice problems. Here we have the ant, 
and there are five ants. Here on the other side, we have some crickets. Count how many crickets you see. Six, great job. Color in the set that has fewer. Which one has fewer? The ants or the crickets? Well done. Now for the last set. We have the mice. How many mice are here in the teal box? Go ahead and count them. You're right, there are six. And right over here, let's check this animal. How many of them are here in the pink box? Four. Go ahead and color the set that has fewer. Is it the mice or is it this animal right over here? For this next part, you won't need this paper. So scholars, you, can th um, you don't need to take a picture of this one because your answers are going to be here in the Ed Puzzle. How many suns are there? Count how many and choose your answer. Take a look at the suns. Take a look at the moons. We have two sets. We have some in the triangle set and some in the square set. Friends, which group shows more moons than suns? Which group shows more moons than suns? Is it the triangle group or the square group? How many moons are there? Take a look at these two sets of animals. We have cats on one side. We have dogs on the other side. Which group has fewer animals? Which group has fewer animals? And here we go, I have some cupcakes. How many people could I serve with cupcakes if I were going to have a cupcake party? We saw this example earlier. We saw that I can serve six friends all together. Now let's pretend I have some balloons. Which set of balloons shows just enough for this new group of kids? Which set of balloons shows just enough or the same as for this group of kids? How many balloons are there? Great work today, scholars. That was the end of our math lesson. Make sure you take a picture and send in a a picture of this worksheet right here where you colored less than or the group that had fewer than.